Padre Pio, a source of faith and inspiration, scheduled Thanksgiving Mass offered. Padre Pio, also known as Francesco Forgione, was born on May 25, 1887 in Italy. His family may have had scanty possessions, but they had abundant faith in the Lord. Community folks on G. Talentina Street are invited every first and third of the month at 4 in the afternoon to attend the Thanksgiving Mass at the CBRC main office. More on the featured news, here is Pia Monica Garais. Good afternoon. Today we are here to witness the first Mass conducted live at CBRC Manila, where several communities in Zapalo are gathered in the The Mass starts at 4 p.m. With Reverend Father Aris Aguilera as the officiating priest. This is to honor Padre Pio for the life he has lived in serving the Lord and his faith. At a young age, he has devoted his life to prayer and church, has remained humble despite his extraordinary ability, that is, talking with his guardian angel, Mary, and Jesus. At 23, he finally became a priest. There would be times when his mass would stretch for long, for his genuine passion in spreading the word of God is immense. One day, someone asked him if he could congest the mass he would officiate, but he denied the offer, stating that the Almighty knows how much he wants to do it. Because of this, people who came to hear his mass became impressed by his commitment. Even those who are far away from his place journeyed to be with his presence because according to them, it made them feel better. However, Padre Pio also lived a difficult life with his health condition, which started when he was 9 years old. Yet, he only thought that there must be a reason as to why it must happen to him. He believed that there must be a reason why God let it happen perhaps a mission to fulfill in this world. Until the day he left in peace, he has maintained his faith, spreading God's love to everyone, remaining the humble person he is, what with the many spiritual gifts he has possessed. Truly, he is a model of virtue and an inspiration to all. Indeed, Padre Pio is a man of prayer. Let his works be an influence for all of us to keep the faith and to do good deeds. So for those who'd like to join us, there will be a Mass every first and third Thursdays of the month. This is Pia Monica Bengzangarais reporting for CBRC News Live. Thank you, Pia. The said Thanksgiving Mass is the initiative of the CBRC management to give back to the community to provide an avenue to strengthen the people's faith. We ask so you may know. We feature, so you may appreciate. We inform, so you may decide. We balance, so you may judge. Reporting live from the CBRC headquarters here in Sampaloc, Manila, this is Joyce Ranara for CBRC News Live. Good evening. Soar high, Eagles!